Hey guys, Survival Know How here again. Uh, just wanted to show you guys like a kit I made out of my uh, GI type canteen slash utility pouch and just a little modification I did to my uh, Mora knife. Okay, uh, here's the kit. I designed it with a shoulder strap. Just uh, two pieces of 550 paracord doubled up. There's about, when you untie it and unravel it, it's about 10 to 12 feet, I'd say. And I have some extra paracord attached to the side. And a fire steel tucked into elastic there. And um, I have a lot of food items on this too, because there is chances of you catching game in the wild, but I'd rather be prepared in case I don't. I do have everything in here to catch food, make a shelter out of natural material, um, so I think I'd be alright with this stuff in the bush, just this stuff. In the side pouch, I have my fishing kit. As you guys seen in other videos, I have my Swiss Army knife, Victorian Ox, just a little braid, extra cordage too also if you need it in a survival situation. And this one has a, guys, bear with me guys. This one has a saw. This is a great saw. Really good. And a really good blade. This Victorian Ox. You probably can't see it, but no, it's Victorian Ox. It's got a little lock right here. You push down. Let's close it. Okay, what else? And that's it for that side. On this side, there's some matches. Strike anywhere matches. Ugh. It's kind of hard with one hand, guys. Sorry. Strike anywhere matches. Coat it in wax. And there's a cotton ball in with it for tinder. But the cotton ball is not re really for the matches because on the bottom of this, there's a small flint that actually lights cotton balls very well. Match fell out there too. Yeah, whatever, you guys get the idea. Okay, um. Here's the fire steel, it's just attached to this thing. Just to the clip. Unbuckle it. And then on the inside, choose my feet here. I have my canteen cup, my canteen, the canteen cup is an excellent cooking pot, so I got that part covered, fit probably, probably if you quarter up a squirrel you could probably fit it in there pretty good, or a rabbit, well, not really a rabbit, but you fit some quarters in there, as long as you got one source for cooking meat or whatever, or food, and on the inside, just got that flat folded down on the inside, Got some hot chocolate, some a tea bag, some sugar, some bouillon, and I think that's it. And also, I have two of uh, two. Nest Tea Active Lemon Lime Flavor Juice Mix or Drink Mix. Just because you know you're out in the bush and a little, a little bit of sugar would be good instead of drinking steady water all the time. Just a little nice little sweet drink. Even if you heat this up, it'd be like uh, sort of like Neo Citron, I guess you would say. Nice soothing lemon drink. Okay, guys, that's my new kit. 
and uh, post comments and all that stuff on it. And oh, one more thing. Also, that's my mower knife. I just wrap some cordage around the handle, or around the sheath. Sorry. And uh, yeah, with all these things, I think I could live in the bush for a couple days. So thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.